What is happening guys, Chris here from That Tattoo Show and if you are new to the channel, hit like, hit subscribe and hit the notification buttons to keep up to date with everything that we do. Today's video is not a sponsored video. Electric Ink have sent me some colors so I can try them out and let you guys know what I think of them. They have not paid me uh, or anything like that. They've just given me the colors free of charge so I can try them out and yeah, see if they're any good. So well, that's done, let's see what this is all about. Electric Ink are a ink and machine and needle kind of manufacturer. They make a load, a load of stuff. Power supplies, everything. But they're a manufacturer based in Brazil. Now their facility has been there since 2006. You're not, you know, so you've left out that they got a certificate for like GMP, which is the GMP is good manufacturing practice. And that's the manufacturing standard for all pharmaceutical grade products. They also export to loads of companies all over the world. Why ain't you mentioning that? So Easy Glow, it is the newest addition to their range of colors. They already have electric ink, which I have used in the past, and I did find it was a very, very nice ink to use. I really enjoyed using it, and the only reason why I stopped using that ink is just because I found it increasingly difficult to get hold of it in the UK. And what's the difference then between electric ink and Easy Glow. Now, the main differences between Easy Glow and Electric Ink is the formulation is completely different, the viscosity is completely different, and also the concentration is different in the Easy Glow in comparison to Electric Ink. So, what are the ingredients to the ink? You know, have they got any kind of like random shit in there to make it the way it is? The ingredients for the Electric Ink Easy Glow pigments are water, a mixture of pigments, propylene glycol, vegetal glycerin, and a non ionic surfactant. So one thing I also found out was, and I thought I may as well check because it seems to be quite a big thing at the moment, and that is that they do not use any acrylic resins. What about the CTL testing? Have you mentioned CTL? Because you didn't in your last video and you know, you don't want to be making that same mistake again. No, they haven't had the CTL testing yet, but they do hope to have positive news very soon as it's currently going through the the whole testing and everything like that. And once that has happened, then they'll have European distributors. And I'll be able to let you know how much it's gonna cost because at the moment, I have no idea how much it costs in the UK or in Europe. All I know is if you go on their website, you can find how much it is in Brazil. And the color range that is available at the moment is 51 different colors. I didn't get 51 colors, sadly. Um, I think I got basically like a, a kind of a traditional set or like a basic color set. And the colors I got were blue, red, green, purple, or porphor, if you're from Wales, porphor, yellow, brown, white, black. And I also got this stuff, which is uh, basically a dilutant. There we go. So that's probably just something to kind of like, you know, dilute your gray wash or things like that. So that's what I had. And and that's what I've been using and trying it out. I've done a few tattoos with it and yeah, this is what I think of it. So at first I was a little bit sketched out because of the viscosity of it. It was quite thin and I was a bit like, ooh, is that gonna be kind of difficult to work with? The black I found saturated very, very easily. I found it very nice to work with as a liner. It was one of those pigments that really reminded me of talons. Now, if you've been tattooing for as long as I have, and you've probably used Talons ink. It was a drawing ink back in the day, and even said like not for tattooing on the bottle. And a really, really nice black that was actually. It kind of reminds me of that. It's got that viscosity. It's got that kind of like, you know, it, it just got that nice feel about it. And I really liked using that for lining and for shading and everything when I was doing the tattoos. The color itself, again, I found it saturated really, really well. And so far, the results that I've, I've seen and clients have kind of told me about, it's healing very, very nice. I, they've not noticed like any issues in regards to it's taking longer to heal. But in the same respect, it's not healing any quicker. So it's kind of, you know, you're getting that same amount of healing time with the Easy Glow. Regarding the saturation and kind of doing the coloring, I found, yeah, it, it, it saturated the skin really, really easily. You know, like using yellow, I think some brands, when I've used yellow with certain brands, I find, I don't know, it's either the color separates in the bottle or it's just too runny. I don't know, I just feel like sometimes yellow with certain brands is one of those colors that 
is a little bit of a bugger to get in the skin. But this uh, Easy Glow, I found saturated the skin very, very easily. You know, it's just like one hit and where you've tattooed is completely saturated. No need to go over it a second time. So I, I really, really like that about this pigment. As for color blending and kind of color mixing as well, I found they mixed together very, very easily. Like there was no separation. I, I don't know if this makes sense to you, but some colors I find when you try to mix them together, it's as if like they don't want to mix. There's always like that little bit of a separation, if that makes any sense. You might see residue on the top of the ink cap where it just, they just, they just like, yeah, fuck that, I'm not mixing, no way. But this stuff, mixes together really really nice very very easily and uh, especially since i've been using one of these fucking mixing things one of these like i don't even know why i didn't get one ages ago they're fucking awesome ink mixers quality so yeah since i've been using one of those I, it mixes it very very nice you know once it's mixed they mix together nice and the colors don't separate because the viscosity i feel is very this much the same across the board so and it's only like two companies so far that i've noticed all of their colors have a very very similar viscosity across the entire range of colors obviously it's harder for me to say with this one but with the colors that i've used the viscosity is exactly the same so far far so yeah they mix well together and they blend well together in the skin as well like just just generally tattooing with it they work really really nice i haven't had any issues with them when using it if i do get any buddy come back and say that they have had a problem with it i will let you know ultimately my first look my first try of this stuff the easy glow pigments is it is very nice and very pleasant to use i would say you know, would i recommend this color like no for me i prefer using something that's got a thicker viscosity so i wouldn't personally use this all the time but that's my personal preference if you're somebody that let's say likes to use something that has a thinner viscosity then maybe this could be the ink for you. Who knows, it all depends. But I would definitely say it's one of those colors that's worth trying. And you know, it might they might be something that you might add to your kind of arsenal of inks and you might think, yeah, this might work well with what I've got. There we go, nice, it's not bad, I like it. So there we go, that's me done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, hit like, hit subscribe and hit the notification buttons. If you do have any questions, pop them below and if I can get the answers for you, I certainly will. Until next time, take it easy guys. Whoop. I apologize. Let me scream, let me scream with frame. Yeah, sound, All right, carry on, try. I'm fucking going home. Do it in, do it out.